Hey guys, what's up? It's Vicious again, and today I'll be going over version 1.4.2 for Shungo. Um, if you want the download link, it is in the description below. The raid beta is actually out right now, um, as of this video being recorded and uploaded. And so, uh, wait for the official release, but today I'll be going over the auto raid feature for Shungo. Oh my god, what the fuck is that? Is that privacy portal 10% off with code Vicious? Holy shit it is. So very quickly, once you install the application, once you have purchased a premium account, um, this is not a free, obviously this costs 15 euros per month. Um, but if you go to the modes, you can actually select raid. And this is basically the auto raid module um, for Shungo. What you need to do is uh, you need to be in the raid mode. And then what it allows you to do is it allows you to pick between five different regions. Um, San Francisco, New York, Zaragoza, Tokyo, and Sydney. Um, and then based off of these regions, obviously the daytime ones gonna, are gonna have raids, whereas Tokyo and Sydney are not gonna have raids. So that's why that's why the sun and moon are there. Um, so currently I'm gonna, do, I'm gonna do New York 1234, which is the current time. And then what you wanna do is you wanna select a raid target. So this is gonna be which, you need to do some research obviously and figure out which Pokemon are in the raids. Um, so right now it's Genesect. Um, so that's what we're gonna do. You can also do only shiny catch. Um, this is if you have multiple raid passes and you wanna just do a bunch of raids at the same time, then you can, that means you will only catch the shiny Pokemon and then you know you won't have cooldown, et cetera, et cetera. So it can be useful. Um, if you wanna catch all the Pokemon, obviously set the above IV to one. Um, and this will mean you basically catch everything. Buddy care, gifting, auto heal. Auto heal is pretty good. I'm gonna turn that one on. Uh, manage inventory, this stuff is meh. I don't really, I don't really. It's not something I really care about. Um, you can set a custom name, which is good. Um, and uh, yeah, so we're gonna put this one down to zero. I think I don't think this affects. Um, I don't think this affects any of the stuff in game. So I think we should be fine. So uh, we're just gonna test it out. Um, obviously, you need to save settings. If you don't save the settings, it's not gonna it's not gonna load in, right? So what should happen is once I click start at the top left here, it's gonna load us into Pokemon Go, and then it's gonna start scanning around for gyms. Um, that are, are raids basically um, around New York City and then uh, yeah we're gonna see it so as you can see here um, it's currently searching for raids uh, in the Shango application um, as you can see it says two checks and then it has the checks per minute so it's basically checking around New York City uh, to find raids that are doable um, and ideally I want to show a raid being done in the video um, but it could take some time and so you might we might have to cut to that Okay, great. So we're in the raid lobby as of right now. Um, and one thing that's really nice is it actually has a minimum number of people who are in the raid lobby so that you don't like fail the raid, which would be, you know, kind of an L. Um, it also takes the, um, the daily raid pass that you need to do the raid. So that's really good. Um, and it makes it so that you don't have to, you don't have to actually spin the Poke stop and then go and do it. It just automatically does it, which is fantastic. Um, and it also uses the free raid pass before premium. And then I don't think it has a feature for remote raiding just yet, but honestly, you, I mean, as a spoofer, do you really need to be remote raiding, right? Um, and you can just do it manually with like Pokemon. Okay, so we're now into the fighting phase. As you can see here, one thing that's really nice is it doesn't actually go into the UI um, of the gym or of the raid battle. So you can still do all the regular stuff that you wanna do. Like you can still transfer Pokemon. You can still like level up stuff. You can search for Pokemon. Um, you honestly might be able to PVP like at the same time. Uh, so that could be super sick. Um, if that's something you wanna do, you can deal with like your quests and stuff. And so, uh, yeah, pretty solid stuff. There we go. So as you can see here, it says one catches. Um, and then now it's not gonna, it's gonna search raids, but then it's gonna realize it doesn't have any more like passes and then it's gonna stop. So yeah, there we go. Genesect caught, um, no problems whatsoever. Um, some things that I want to see in the future would probably be like um, the pineapple feeding thing. I'm not sure if the Shung, I'm not sure if the, I'm not sure if the Shungo um, like shun Shundo hunting module like feed it a berry before you catch it thing applies to this module. Um, but something I'd like to see in the future would be that maybe, um, and then obviously like a sort of raid pass tier list like free raid pass and then like used free free raid passes and then premium raid passes, and then uh, maybe the remote raid passes. So yeah, some of the things I wanted to see, but it's a fantastic module um, and much cheaper than Polygon. If you're, you know, if you're a whale and you have tons of raid passes and you just want to get them done really, really fast, 
um, this is the way to do it. And something to keep in mind is also that you can do these locally um, or like you can sort of pretend like you're not spoofing around the world because you can limit the raids um, to one area. So you can limit the raids to like New York and then you'll be, you'll be good. So yeah, the video is not too long guys. Um, if you guys did enjoy this video and you want to see more of this content, more updates and stuff, um, especially about rooted PD sharp, which I'm very excited to try out. Um, I also have a phone right now, Google pixel five that I'll be rooting and making a video on. So stay tuned for that one. Um, and maybe some Valheim funny moments. So, uh, yeah, if you guys, if you guys, uh, enjoy the video, leave a like, comment down below, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.